So, Reese, is it good to have a bit of a break from the league at the minute and concentrate on the FA Cup? Yeah, I think with um, obviously the recent result was disappointing. I think we can take a lot of positives from the performance that we put in. Just a few mistakes or some goals that we've touched on and we know where we need to improve and stuff like that. But I think going into a cup competition gives us a different focus and hopefully gives the fans something to look forward to. Why do you think things appear to have gone backwards since that memorable win against Barrow? There's been, it was really tight. The, the draws and the defeats before then seemed really competitive, but there have been a couple of pretty sort of heavy defeats since then. What do you think's gone wrong? I think just as a team collectively, I think we've... It, it, some people have made some errors, some some games we've just not been up to the standard, but it's through no fault of putting the effort in and having the determination. I think some games we've been unlucky as well, but I think now we get to go into a comp competition and hopefully put another run together. How frustrating was it at the weekend against Chesterfield when you know, at 2-2 you were very much in the game and I think people in the crowd were saying... It, it didn't feel like a five to it. No, it sounds daft, but it didn't feel like that. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. De it didn't feel like a five two on the pitch either. I think the times that we conceded, we kind of shot ourselves in the foot and then gifted them momentum back, especially so soon after scoring. But as, like I said before, we put in a, a decent performance. We passed the ball well. We created a lot of opportunities, especially in the first half. I think they were lucky to st still be like level with us. But I think just a few mistakes here and there that's what's cost us but we're looking forward now we've identified what went wrong and we're looking to move on from it so what do you know about worthing a non-league club a, a classic potential banana skin isn't it for a, a league two team well uh we know they play on astro so that's going to be a bit of a, uh, of a leveler but um no like any any team you have to show a huge amount of respect they've got far in the competition to be where they are already so I think we've got to go down there, showing the respect, but go, go. We're going there to win. I mean, it's a, it is a potential banana skin, but I think if we come through it unscathed and take, take the win, then it puts us on good stead for the league next week. How does the Astro change the way you do things as a player yourself? What are you thinking when you're on Astro? Um, there's a bit more zip. Um, there's a few more margins for error with bounces and stuff skipping through and maybe the odd dodgy touch and stuff like that but I think the lads we all we're all good enough players and we just can't think about that and let that become a leveller and it's all about just getting through isn't it win one nil with an own goal in the 89th minute no one will care will they yeah as long as it's a cup competition you lose your out so the main thing is winning that's all you need to do is win it don't matter who scores what score it is as long as you get through to the next round that's all that matters no replays now. Does that make any difference at all? Straight to, to penalties after extra time? Um, in my head, no, because I want to go into every game and win anyway. So n no one ever wants a replay. So even if it, if it was on the card, we'd still want to go there and win one less game to play as well. So yeah, I think we've all got the same mindset, go down there and finish, it, finish the game in the 90 minutes. What does the FA Cup mean to you? Well, it's the for me, it's... Like a, it's a huge competition. I've, I've played in it a few times, obviously at Liverpool, and it's one of my favourites. It's exciting. You don't know who you're going to come up against. You could get one of the lower league teams and then you've got a potential scalp on your hands if you get beat, but then you could be the one t taking the scalp. So, yeah, it's exciting. You, you can get some big draws. and Yeah, I think that's the, the main thing. If we progress, then hopefully we get one of the big dogs. So take us through some of those Liverpool memories. What what were those appearances in those games in the cup? Um, I played at Old Trafford. Unfortunately, we got beat though, but I enjoyed that. It was a great game. It was three two, good one for the neutral. Um, for Swansea, I played against Southampton at home. Got beat in extra time, but again another exciting game. Premier League team, Black, uh, Blackpool. Can't remember how I played, but yeah, I've played, played some good teams in that, in the competition. So that's the exciting part about it. And it sounds like you've got a whole range of experiences and you know that the prize come the third round is one of those big games, isn't it? And for you, you know, Liverpool. <laughs> yeah, potentially. I mean, that'd be that'd be good to bring the bring the red men down here. I mean, it'd be seeing a few familiar faces. But no, I think uh, first of all we've got to focus on the game at hand on Saturday and get through that and then hopefully we can get a big draw at home. How do you think things are going for yourself personally now, you know, this far into the season? I'm enjoying it. 
I mean, the gaffer's given me a chance to come in and play football, and that's what I needed. I mean, I owe him a lot for that, and he's put a lot of faith in me. He's allowed me to go and play my football and um, make some mistakes along the way. I've not played in a lot. I didn't play a lot last year, so he's given me that ability to make a mistake but keep me in the team. And from that, I've got, in my opinion, I've built with each game and got better and better. So hopefully I can repay him and keep that going. So you're feeling you're continuing to improve then? Yeah, 100%. I mean, after last year, the main thing for me was I just want to keep keep myself on the grass, stay injury free. So with the gaffer giving me the chance to do so, I owe him a lot for that. What do you notice about the level? What What are your initial thoughts then about League Two football this season? Um, the physicality is the main thing for me. You get a lot more aerial duels, a lot more strikers trying to pin you, stuff like that. I think the higher you go up, it's obviously the more technical game, but um, you still get some good strikers. I mean, this year I played Billy Sharp, Lyle Taylor. There's been some good good battles with some good strikers who were playing in the Premier League not so long ago. So, I mean, I think the main thing that shocked me was the physicality because I didn't realise how physical it was. But, no, nah, every, every game's a challenge and that's what you look forward to. And that experience at Liverpool and being around Liverpool and the Premier League... Is that something you can pass on to your teammates here? Or, or is it, like you say, so very different, the, the style of football, the physicality, that sort of thing? I think the things that I can bring is more like the composure and stuff like that. Obviously, playing at a high level, I've seen the way other players do it and I've learnt off them. So I think like though that's one thing I can bring is definitely the composure on the ball. But at the same time, sometimes it's... You do have to play a bit, bit more long ball and stuff like that. And the way teams set up, a lot of teams high pressure in this division to force you to kick it because they want the second ball game. So I think when I can play, I will try and get on the ball. And when I can bring it down, I will do so. But other than that, I think you just play the, play, play the style. So the main message for this weekend, though, is win the game. Doesn't matter how, get through to the second round. Yeah, 100%. That doesn't, like I said before, it could be comes off someone's backside in the 93rd minute we wouldn't care as long as we get get the win and we're into the next round I think that's all that matters to us and the boys and, and obviously the fans and the gaffer